There are various applications of collage loop and now we will discuss one more uh, application of the collage law that collage law is used to find out dissociation constant of a weak electrolyte. So what is a dissociation constant and what is the relation with the concentration of a electrolyte and how we can calculate if we know the molar conductivities of the electrolyte. So let's see that and then we will do the solution to this question what I wrote on the blackboard. So let's see that collage law is the law which is telling us about how to find out the molar conductivity at infinite dilution or where the concentration of an electrolyte is almost zero. So uh, collage law is giving us collage law of independent migration of ion independent migration of ions it is telling that how we can calculate the collage law of independent migration of ions so how we can calculate the dissociation constant which is either represented like this or we can say k d that is a dissociation constant dissociation constant dissociation constant when an electrolyte dissociate into or break into ions and when the dilution is infinite the concentration is zero for a weak electrolyte then how we can calculate the dissociation constant for that what is the relation here if we are having an electrolyte for example we are taking ammonium hydroxide for weak electrolyte collage law is used to find out the dissociation constant so if we are having this electrolyte and as we are saying ki normally what is happening the reaction is both uh, direction backward and forward at low dilution the dissociation is not possible but at higher or at infinite dilution of a weak electrolyte the ions are totally free to move so here we can have NH ammonium ion plus hydroxide ion so what it says if at starting or at initial point at initial point what is the concentration of electrolyte that is C and what is the concentration of ions that is zero because starting me ammonium uh, hydroxide is having C concentration but ions are not there and at equilibrium when the reaction is occurring in both direction so at equilibrium when the reaction is moving in both direction or happening in both equilibrium equilibrium concentration or uh, equilibrium the concentration will be what would be the concentration jo hamara concentration tha usme se we will remove the product of dissociation degree dissociation and concentration and jo hamare uh, i say they are having the concentration degree dissociation multiply with the initial concentration and here also to we both are having at equilibrium the concentration of electrolyte will be this and ions will have this so how we can find the degree uh, dissociation constant uh, either we can write with the c or kd that equal to if we can take yahape if we will take c common then what is the एग्जैक्ट जो इसका हम इसको इससे रिप्लेस कर सकते हैं तो जो हमारा डिसोसिएशन कांस्टेंट है इट इज हैविंग सी एंड सी मींस वी आर डूइंग द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द आयंस कंसंट्रेशन एट इक्विलिब्रियम वो लिख दिया डिवाइडेड बाय द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट इन अ सॉल्यूशन दैट इज सी 1 माइनस degree 
of dissociation. So this is a relation and what we will do? We can cancel one C with this. So what is the exact relation with the dissociation constant? That is C square of degree of dissociation and 1 minus degree of dissociation and in my previous video lecture I gave the relation that degree dissociation having the relation that is molar conductivity which is shown by lambda m divided by limiting molar conductivity of the electrolyte when the concentration is almost zero. So if we are replacing alpha with this then what we will have that dissociation constant equal to C and instead of degree dissociation what we will write that is lambda m by lambda naught m means limiting molar conductivity divided by 1 minus lambda m and lambda naught m means limiting molar conductivity and what is the exact answer here c that is lambda m into lambda m divided by lambda naught m and lambda naught m that is यहाँ पे हम इसे क्या कर लेंगे एलसीएम ले लेंगे तो then what we have lambda m not minus molar conductivity divided by limiting molar conductivity if we will substitute the value of degree of dissociation in this equation then what will be the exact relation क्या हो जाएगा we will shift this numerator here and this denominator will go to that position and what is the final relation that is dissociation constant equal to product of molar conductivity divided by limiting molar conductivity and limiting molar conductivity and this will move here. Limiting molar conductivity minus molar conductivity. And this term will move here. That is lambda naught m. Which will be cancelled out with this. Then what is the exact final relation? That is lambda m square divided by limiting molar conductivity and limiting molar conductivity minus molar conductivity. So this is the way how we can relate the dissociation constant with the molar conductivity and limiting molar conductivity. And the Collard's law is used to find out the dissociation constant for and for weak, we, are, we should not write and here, for weak electrolyte, for weak electrolyte is that for acetic acid and for ammonium hydroxide. These are the weak acid and we can find out the uh, dissociation constant with the help of degree of dissociation. So let's see. Uh, relation what is the final relation between uh, dissociation, degree of dissociation and dissociation constant and one more relation is there that is with molar conductivity and limiting molar conductivity. So we can write this one here easy that dissociation constant equal to this is the concentration at initial position with the square of dissociation, degree of dissociation well, 1 minus degree of dissociation. So this is the relation between the degree dissociation.
relation and dissociation constant. And one more relation is there. If we have to be show with the limiting molar connectivity and molar connectivity, that is molar connect square of molar connectivity divided by limiting molar connectivity multiplied with the difference of limiting molar connectivity and molar connectivity. So these are the two relations. How we have to be find out degree of dissociation either with the help of molar connectivity and limiting molar connectivity or with the dissociation degree of dissociation. So by this, uh, after all this, I mentioned two relation here. Now with this, we we can solve this question. So what is the question saying? At 298 Kelvin, the molar connectivity is at infinite dilution. Means here we are talking about the lambda naught m. Limiting molar connectivity because it says infinite dilution here. So the molar connectivity at infinite dilution, we are talking about the limiting molar connectivity. Kis ki baat kar rahe Ammonium chloride, sodium hydroxide and sodium chloride. And it is given to us 129.8. 217.4 and 108.9. So these are given to us for this. We can find out the limiting molar connectivity of ammonium hydroxide because these are the values from where we can find out the limiting molar connectivity with the help of collapse law. So let's see that because collapse law can happen. The Limiting molar conductivity of an electrolyte is the sum of the molar conductivity of cation and anion present in the electrolyte. So let's see that what it is for ammonium hydroxide. So given what are the given values? N sub H for Cl means we are having ammonium chloride which can be dissociated into ammonium I plus chloride I. So we can say at infinite dilution so limiting molar conductivity of ammonium chloride equal to the limiting molar conductivity of ammonium I plus limiting molar conductivity of chloride ion and this value is provided to us that is kidney value that is 129 equal to that is limiting molar conductivity of ammonium ion plus limiting molar conductivity of Cl minus and then the next is sodium hydroxide. So for sodium hydroxide, we can divide as sodium ion plus hydroxide ion. So we can say the limiting molar conductivity of sodium hydroxide equal to the limiting molar conductivity of sodium ion plus the limiting molar conductivity of hydroxide ion. This value is provided to us that is 217.4. So here we can say 217.4 equal to limiting molar conductivity of sodium ion plus limiting molar conductivity of hydroxide ion. And one more electrolyte is given to us that is sodium chloride. For sodium chloride that NaCl we can uh, dissociate into chloride ion, uh, sodium ion and chloride ions. So limiting molar conductivity of NaCl equal to the limiting molar conductivity of Na plus with sodium ion plus the limiting molar conductivity of chloride ion. This value is provided to us that is 108.9 equal to limiting molar conductivity of sodium ion plus the limiting molar conductivity of chloride ion. And what we have to do? The molar conductivity 
सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड की मुझे दी है वट इज दर्सेंटेज ऑफ अमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड एट दिस डायल्यूशन मीन्स फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दी डिग्री डिसोसिएशन एंड देन वी हैव टू बी शो इन द फॉर्म ऑफ परसेंटेज सो अगर मैं अमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड की दीज डिफरेंट वैल्यूज आर प्रोवाइडेड टू मी एंड अमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड कैन बी रिटर्न एज अमोनियम आई प्लस हाइड्रोक्साइड आई सो दैट इज लिमिटिंग मोलार कनेक्टिविटी ऑफ अमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इक्वल टू द लिमिटिंग मोलार कनेक्टिविटी ऑफ अमोनियम आई प्लस द लिमिटिंग मोलार कनेक्टिविटी ऑफ हाइड्रोक्साइड आई नाउ मीन्स दिस अमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड विल डिसोशिएट इन टू अमोनियम एंड हाइड्रोक्साइड सो मीन्स मुझे ये वाला आई चाहिए एंड आई हैव टू बी टेक दिस आई इन ऑर्डर टू टेक दिस टू आइंस वट आई हैव टू डू आई कैन एड दिस टू दिस टू इलेक्ट्रोलाइट कैन बी एड एंड देन आई हैव टू सप्रैक्ट this electrolyte from the the sum of these two so in order to find out this value what i can take is in equation 1 one only thing this is equation 2 and this is equation 3 in order to get as per large law is saying that the difference between the different ions of different uh, jo hamara uh, an ion hai can be seen to yahan pe kya ho jayega that is we can do add equation 1 and equation 2 and uh, subtract equation 3 equation 3 ko hum usme minus kar denge equation 1 kya hai that is limiting molar conductivity of यहां से ले रही हूं एमोनियम प्लस लिमिटिंग मोलार कनेक्टिविटी ऑफ क्लोराइड आइंस एंड यहां पे साथ साथ में हम लिख भी लेंगे उसकी वैल्यू कितनी है 129 129.8 ट्वेंटी भी है पॉइंट प्लस हम इसे ऐड कर लेंगे दैट इज लिमिटिंग मोलार कनेक्टिविटी ऑफ सोडियम आइन प्लस लिमिटिंग मोलार कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ हाइड्रोक्साइड आइन इसकी वैल्यू मुझे दी हुई है दैट इज प्लस कर लेंगे टू वन सेवन पॉइंट फोर इन दोनों को पहले जब मैं ऐड करूंगी तो मुझे इन दोनों को ऐड करना एंड माइनस इसमें से क्या माइनस करूंगी क्या माइनस करना है मैंने दैट इज लिमिटिंग मोलार कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ सोडियम आइन थर्ड इक्वेशन को माइनस करने के लिए मैंने लिखा है and once i will put a minus to ye bhi minus ho jayega ye bhi minus ho jayega limiting molar conductivity of chloride ions now see this chloride ion is plus and this is negative so yahan pe ye dono cancel ho jayenge this limiting molar conductivity of sodium ion will get cancelled out with this limiting molar conductivity of sodium ion and what we are having the limiting molar conductivity of ammonium एंड लिमिटिंग मोलार कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ हाइड्रोक्साइड जो कि मुझे यहाँ पे चाहिए था और इन दोनों के प्लस में से मैं किसको माइनस करूंगी वट आई हैव टू सब्रैक्ट दिस आई हैव टू बी माइनस वन हंड्रेड एट पॉइंट नाइन आई होप यू गॉट द आइडिया कि हाउ आई एम राइटिंग दिस आई एम एडिंग दिस टू इलेक्ट्रोलाइट और सम ऑफ देयर आइंस को करने से मुझे ये मिल जाएगा एंड देन आई हैव टू बी कैंसल आउट द इक्वेशन थ्री so uh, the overall sum up i will get get the limiting molar conductivity of ammonium ion and the limiting molar conductivity of hydroxide ion or uh, inko jab main add karungi then what the answer i'm getting here 129.8 and 217.4 what would be the answer 12 and that's 17 and that is 
and this is 3. Let me check once again. 12 and 1 carry 17, 1 carry 4 and 3. So here I am getting 3, 4, 7, 0. 0.2 minus 108.9. So what I am getting minus 108.9. So here I am getting 3 by taking the carry. So 12 minus 9, 3 and here 16 that is 8 again. And here I am getting 3 and here I am getting the 2. So what the limiting molar connectivity of this? Yahan pe iski limiting molar connectivity kya ho jayegi? That is the 238.3. So here the limiting molar connectivity of ammonium hydroxide I am getting and in our question I am provided with the molar conductivity. Molar conductivity is provided to me means that is you know having one mole of electrolyte and that time we are not saying that the dilution is infinite and the concentration is zero but I am providing with the molar conductivity that is 9.33. So uh, the, the relation here degree of dissociation in which may that is molar conductivity of an electrolyte divided by the limiting molar conductivity this is the relation I already explained in my previous videos so how we can find out this I just got the value of limiting molar conductivity for uh, ammonium hydroxide that is what I am getting here 238.3 and sorry, um, just, I just wrote other way around. Uh, limiting molar conductivity in Chennai. Molar conductivity uh, question may provide ki hai, that is 9.33 divided by 238.3. This is what I am getting. So here I will just remove the decimals and what answer I am getting here, cancel it out. And better, हम यहाँ पे इसको क्या कर लेते हैं? Divide कर लेते हैं। So that is two three eight three divided by यहाँ पे nine three three divided by that is two three eight three. So in order to do that, I will just write point here, and now it will become nine thousand three thirty. And 23. If I am multiplying it with 2383 with the 3, then what I will get? 9 and 24 and 11 and 7. So even if I, I will add one more, let me add one more means 4 pe jayega. That is 12, 1 carry and that is 13 and 1 carry 5 and then we are having the 9. And that is a big value, so better I should start with the 3, so 0 0.3, 0 0.3 and what is the jo product tha, uh, after multiplying 2, 3, 8, 3 with the 3, what is the value that is 7, 1, 4, 9. So do the subtraction here that is 1 and 8 and 1 and 2. And we can just put a 0 here. And what would be the next 21? So 21,800. Better I should go with the uh, 3, 9, 4, and 8. Let me multiply it with the 2, 3, 8, 3 with the 7. Let's see that. That is 21 and 58, 5, 21. And 5, that is 26, 2 and 9, 14, 14 and 2, that is 16. So that is, a, instead of that, we can just add, we can just add that, we can just add that, we can just add that, that is 4 and 16 and 10, 1 carry, that is 9 and 1. That, that is the uh, better. So, after point, I am getting 8. So, here that is 0.38 and we have 10 niche bhi hai, 2 
So what would be the answer here? That is 0.38 multiplied with 10 to the power minus 1. Better I should write the answer like that. 0 0.038. So and here the degree of dissociation I got. Now I have to find out the percentage because in question it says what is the percentage or add this dilution. So percentage better I should multiply it with the 100 and what I am getting this one that is we are having that is 3.8%. So here percentage I got it.